Hello everyone, how you doing? Well, I thought I'd make a video, take the dog out for a walk and make a vid. Because uh, I thought I'd tell a good story about years ago that I got told, you know. Because, Pad, I've been thinking about what Pad's got to say, you see. Especially when it comes to Viv and all that. You know, and how everything he's got to say about Viv and his relationship with Viv is, is bull. Simple as. He loves it. He, he wants to have a big podcast war. The biggest ever podcast war. My life, what? Is he Raj or something? Aye. And who's he going to have the biggest ever podcast war with? Mm. Not with me, I tell you. Aye. Aye, so he cans on about Viv and how he, how he, eh, uh, Viv done what he said and all that. That's not true. That's not true at all. You know, when I was, when I was, I must have been about 16 at the time. And I'd been hanging on with Glover. And uh, Paddy's best pal, grown who we grew up with, he's mentioned him a couple of times on his on his uh, channel. Aye, the gentle giant. Oh, been some naughty trees come down in there. Down the yard, like. Aye. Well, in any case, his pal, he was a gentle giant, big, huge man, massive, massive hands, I tell you. And when I first started getting knock, knocking on with Glover, I'd been knocking on with him a few months, flying on in the cars, doing loads of stuff. It was all right. But he warned us. The gentle giant, he, Paddy's best pal. He told me what, what would happen to this. And everything he told me that was, that was gonna happen to this happened to this. And he tried to steer us away from Glover and every, and every, and it all, to tell you the truth. And he, sometimes he'd sit and talk to us for a good hour. Outside Ram's Arms, cross the road on Ram's Arms. Watching watching the hoisty cars come and they donuts outside Ram's Arms. So it's kind of dangerous walking to yeah, I gotta say. These trees are becoming coming down like. Devin, how are you? Walking around that and that's ready to slip that. I saw, but that's when I first heard about Kicker. I was 16. It had a, you know, a, a, a helicopter trip, the police helicopter trip with a certain criminal from, from Durham. That's when I heard about our lad. He told us about that, because he told me that it wasn't just Glover and Paddy. Who were the hardest men in Newcastle? <laughs> or the most feared men in Newcastle? He told me about all the other families. That what about? Mm -hmm. But he marked me card, good and proper. What happened was Paddy got arrested for some reason, don't know why, got arrested and got, found himself on remand in Durham jail, on the landings. And they talk about the key incident. 
with Viv in the jail and all that, and he got the key back for the screws and stuff like that. You know, uh, <coughs> but no, Paddy ended up on the same line as Viv, right? But also, young Davy Glover was on the land and we were Paddy, backing Paddy up. So when Viv come, Viv come, shut up what what are the landings, can't mark, can't confronted Paddy. Right? I would want to have a fight with him and all that. Because Paddy was running his move off. Seeing he wanted to have a fight with Viv and all that shit. There was no way Viv was ever gonna come into the West End and have a straight now with anybody. You know, that was never going to happen. But when I come face to face in Durham jail, Paddy shit himself. Right? And the only thing that got him into trouble is because Davy Glover backed him up. Young Davy. Young Davy backed him up on the lines and threatened Viv. Said that I'm standing with Viv. I'm standing with Paddy. And anything you do to him, you're going to have to face me. You know, and at the time, Pad, Pad was just a hustler. He was a hustler and an extortionist. Extortionist. That's what he was. You know? In this in, in Pad's best pal. Same bloke. Told us about this he has. And then when it come to proper crime and all that. Right? At that time, when John was flying about his four before. He was number one in the tune. Number one in the tune. And Paddy hates that. He thought he had took that spot when John went to, went to prison. When John went to prison, for 15 years, Paddy thought he could take that number one spot in the tune. Within a few years he was banged up for kidnapping and torture. His reign didn't last that long, did it? His reign of being number one and Ben will, will rude Elzik. Didn't last that long. It was one. I mean, start. You could see it started when Dave, when Big Dave, went to jail, and then John, John went to jail, and Big Dave went to jail. So two big men hit us. Big hit us, and then Paddy stepped in, but couldn't dig out. Apart from caused loads of trouble. Truth is about Pad and Viv. Pad didn't want to fight Viv. Didn't want none of it. The thing was, this is allegedly, right? In that tune, in that West End, Pad wouldn't go in the tune. He wouldn't go in the tune at all. I never know, known Pad to drink in the tune, ever. Stayed away from it all the time. Because Viv was there. That's why he stayed away. How do I know this? Betty's Paddy's best pal told us. Mm -hmm. Paddy's best friend, childhood friend, told us when I was a young what happened.
But yeah, the fifth Graham incident with Paddy on the Larlands in Durham jail. And Paddy shot himself. And yet again, big Davy, uh, young Davy Glover, right, backed him up. Because Davy was proper naughty. And if he had Rick, right, he'd definitely come for you. It's as simple as that. Back then. Viv knew that, so Viv wasn't. Viv was drinking, I think it was about three, four months afterwards. Viv was drinking in Madison's with Paddy, eh, uh, not with Paddy, with Davy, young Davy. Drinking there. Uh, drinking bottles of champagne and that. Davy was with me pal, Willie. How are you? Come on. So Davy was all right with Viv. Davy was just doing his duty by standing by Paddy. Viv knew that. Viv knew that there was more than just Davy who were willing to do that sort of thing for Paddy. So, so that's why Viv didn't come into the West End and straighten up Paddy and all that shit. Aye, so that's what it was like. And, you know, I got my card marked. You know, I got too old about, you know, kicker, going and missing and stuff and all that. Paddy's childhood pal, all his life, was uh, told me about kicker and the keel down with a helicopter with the police and a certain villain from Doon, uh, Doon Durham had took the police to, in a helicopter trying to look for kicker. Because they 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 at the time they were saying yeah, he had been there. That something bad had happened to him. Aye, there's no need, there's need, need doubt about that. But there was loads of players, aye. And there was the same bloke, the same bloke who told us about the Sears. You know, and that when it come to proper craft and doing proper craft and being a proper villain, yeah, but John was number one for that. John was number one. But there wasn't just John about, there was loads of it. There was, a, there was a big, there was loads. I didn't like talking to, I didn't like to talk freely, too freely about this shit. Because it's not my story, it's someone else's story. My stuff is second-hand information from a source, right, that I, tr that I trust. The same, when I got kidnapped and tortured for burgling a bar, allegedly, right? It, this bloke was the reason why I felt safe that I wasn't gonna get done in. Cause I know he, he would, I, I'd get a few slaps and what have you and that. But I, but I, I couldn't do it. And, and it wasn't until the, you know, I knew that he was, because I, I was, remember sitting in the, in the Jeep getting slapped. I'm only a young, but, you know, I deserved a slap for what I'd done, right? My lips were bust, right? Uh, I got took in the, in the kitchen, top of North Bourne Street. And all that time, I, I was scared. But I knew no bad was going to happen to us because of this fella. And I knew, I knew he wouldn't let him out like that. He'd, I'd get a couple of slaps and that's it. But knee liberty took on us. It wasn't until the chainsaw was pulled out, right, and put in my pal's legs that I caved. Or otherwise I was sitting in the, sitting in the chair getting slapped the boot off. Uh, sorry. Off the man in the shed. And then I just looked at him. Trying to remain, remain this is the time when uh, the chainsaw incident. But that's just the way things gone, isn't it? Uh, and all the shit that he's come up with about how the bar, why the bar was burgled and all that. The bar was burgled on a spur of the moment, mate. It was burgled on a spur of the moment. I'm getting a phone call, I hope that's not interfering with that, like. 
Aye, but my pal told us, told us loads about what was going on and that, what would happen to us if I carried on knocking on the glove and I'd gone to jail a long time and people would be after us and want to hurt us and stuff like that. I took me notice. Took me notice. But no. So, aye. So, young Davy, yet again, right, backed up Paddy in a proper naughty situation with the hardest man in Newcastle, backed him up. The hardest man in Newcastle backed down because of that, right, and it wasn't just that as well. What about the taxman? I got told I got told about the taxman when they all allegedly went doom. The truth is they all would have getting battered up the taxman if it wasn't for Glover. That's the truth. I got told the man was a maniac. He was ripping radiators up the walls and trying to beat them to death with him and all that. Aye. And if it wasn't what Davy Dame already done, he would have done them. That's the truth. That's the truth about the taxman. Who would have won between the taxman and Viv? I would always see a Viv. Always. A majority of course I'm gonna see a Viv. But the taxman was a proper Ooh. I wouldn't have liked him getting ahead of me when I was back then, like. And now I mind. Aye. But Paddy talks shade. Talk shite, how he turns on and sees that, that, eh, uh, Viv, how he, he played a small part in what happened. No, he never played any part in it at all. There was no part where, I, I, listen, I can't remember anybody, sorry, pardon me, I can't remember anybody my jaw broke, apart from Paddy's family member. And Paddy should have looked after him instead of using people. The extor, the... Ah, but he was too big, he'd become too big and powerful for you to bully. Yes, so there's loads of things, man. So I, I mean, Pat's just got no respect for anybody. Anybody? My advice to Pat is just, you know, you just crack on with what you're doing. You and whoever, I don't care. You get on with it, walk kid. You can say what you like about me, mate. Say what you like. Ah, I saw the taxman. The taxman's got some story, hasn't he? Eh? When you think about it. He's got some story, all right.
And I think you just got to show respect, man, to people. That's all. Just show respect. The man in the shed, right, has never told the truth in his life, in his entire, entire life. Oh, no, but my eyes, but indeed, my eyes are indeed. Aye, ah, when I talk about certain subjects, my eyes, they sort of change. That's because I'm feeling hurt. When I'm hurt and regret, that's what that is. You see, hurt and regret, not deadness. It's full of life, that, man. Aye, ah, it's full of life. In my last video, well, what can I say? You know, I can't put it any more plain how I feel about things. And if you're just not, if you're just going to use, use dumbness uh, uh, and not a lack of understanding of what the video, what I said on the video, then, you know, to ha attack people, well, you do it, mate. <laughs> oh, I've got my hair fever coming on. Can he get under there? How a big boy. We eat. He's a good lad. He does what he's he doing what he's tell loads. Aye, but I think I'm gonna go and camping. Bit of solitude. It's already come out of that people and all that, but I like a bit of solitude, me. And it's cost you if you've got the dog. The only thing is when I take the dog camp and it gets ticks. And I was told to keep how you keep the ticks off the dogs from somebody up Scotland on the board or so I bumped into. They said roast. Full bulbs of garlic and get it to the dog and it just keeps the ticks away. And then I've been told that garlic's really bad and toxic for dogs. I believe that's... So I didn't give them any garlic. But I, I, I haven't been camping with him for a while. He's a good companion when you're camping with him, you've got to see it. It helps break the solitude up so you can... Because the last time I went camping, I went for four nights with him on my Todd on the borders of Scotland. And it was flipping great. I see it being dangerous doing your like. There's loads of trees. Oh, Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There we go. Come on. Well, I'm gonna keep myself cush, me. Thing is, with YouTube, for me, it's not a boot. Getting up, I like watching YouTube, right? But I didn't always watch. I didn't watch all the drama going on all the time. Oh, look at that. I watch loads of things. Loads of different things on YouTube, not... Not freaking podcast walk shade. Trees are on the way. Where are these buckets come from? Come here. Come here. 
flash. Come here. Come here. All right, so the truth is, folks, right? Pad was terrified of Viv. That's the truth. Every time Viv come into the West End, and they got, and got wind of that, the Scotchy, when I got sent out to the shop at Scotchy, eh, that incident proves it. That when Viv come into the West End, he got chased back out with guns. If you got wind of him, he tried to chase him out with guns. There was no way Viv was going to have a straightener with anybody in the West End. Never going to happen. Simple as. So Pad never talked to Viv since the night nightclub incident. With a member of his that with a member of his family. <laughs> he's bringing up stuff, man. And he, he's just making stuff up as he goes along. Ah, the taxman. <laughs> Ripping radiators up the walls. Pad wouldn't have had a straight away him. <laughs> Eh? No, he wouldn't have. <laughs> what a belter. Ah, I think I see it. See what you want about me, I'm not bothered. Honestly, don't care. What were you not, ma? Aye, but I just remember sitting, standing on Buddle Road with Pad's best pal. And he, he told us, he told us, told us, he told us everything that it all come true, every bit of it come true to us. I just didn't see the life sentence coming along. You see, he knew what I was like. He knew I was game. He knew, he knew that I was wanting to get on the pavement and stuff like that. And I was just young and daft with ideas in my head that goes up, up until that point. All my fantasies were about committing crimes and stuff and that, not violence, not violence, no. That only come later on. I was, I would say, I, the violent fantasies when they were really bad. But I don't fantasize at all. No, about anything. About not, not, not a thing. All right, I've got a, a question for part. Do you even fantasize and deal with your problems in a violent way in your head? Do you, Pad? Do you still do that? Good flask, that. Go and wipe that flask. Ah, but I think the warm weather's cush. So why would I think Paddy is telling lies and bigging himself up that he was top mat, he was top bully 
in the tune. The party was top bully in the tune. Aye, top bully. Tall shite. Didn't didn't bully Viv at all. No, he was terrified of Viv. And that's the truth. And the only reason why he never got battered in Durham or Viv was through young Davy Glover. Helping the moot. And the only reason why they all never got battered off the taxman, right, was because of Davy Glover as well. If it wasn't for Davy, they would have all been chinned off the taxman. How about that? Eh? That's the truth. And, and, and if the taxman's honest about that, right, that'll be his, that'll be his opinion. <laughs> it's true. Oh, what's up, big lad? I oh, know. I'll let you can. I can't let you up the lead door. No. Did you bite other dogs? Go on. Come here, then. I don't tangle it. There we go. Aye. So that's the truth about Pad. You know when you're young and you're growing up around all that, right? You didn't fully understand what's going on. You didn't. You know what I mean? You didn't. You look up to these people. Right, and, and they say that you're vulnerable and they take advantage. Full advantage. Lucky I got faith, right, in my reform that nothing that he can do or say to me about me, right, will touch us. None of it. Watch, son, come here. Come here. Get away from that camera. <laughs> but he ain't life a bitch. And you're sitting isolated. Fantasizing about. Violence and podcast, the biggest podcast wars. Fantasizing about it all. Planning, plotting. Flash. Ah, it's a hot day of the day. Been here all morning. Well, I don't know how I should respond to all that. In fact, I'm just going to start talking about, like I see Paddy's, when, when Viv confronted Paddy on, uh, on the Lannans in Durham and was going to back that Paddy. If it wasn't for Davy Glover, young Davy Glover, Paddy would have got chinned off Viv. And Paddy never ever went near yeah, Viv after that night nightclub incident. After that, Paddy was scared of Viv. Because he knew how tough of a fighter his family member was. But I don't see uh, how we can just carry on seeing the stuff he does. Because he has to use code now, doesn't he? He has to use special names and all that, and he's got to... So his videos stay up, so he has to use change all the names, right? Because and the reason why he has to do that is because 
what he's got to say, he cannot back up. And who's he going to get to bear witness to all these things that he's got to say? Who's he going to get to bear witness to say that, yeah, our back part up, this is definitely 100% true. 100% true. Who from the West End's going to back you up on these issues and say, yes, it's true. Pads reap what he's seeing. And this is why he's reap what he's seeing. Yeah, and I tried to do that and it was just a swamp of shit. There was no truth in it at all. Men. Obsession. That's all it was, obsession. When the man from, from Manchester come up, that was your chance to, to, to back up what you'd been seeing on the landings in the jail. You couldn't. No, didn't have the horse. You would have finally getting the resources you'd been wanting all the far them years. You couldn't get your hands on. So what offer to you on a plate? Yep. It's the way the cookie crumbles. I suppose. Put me a flash. Just watch me on my kind of crumble. See you later, folks. <laughs>